Hello everyone, this is Dr. Hart and um, I have a couple of uh, brief messages for you and I just wanted to give a little extra emphasis to these messages because we're uh, moving into doing some important uh, foundational assignments in the course and I wanted to be sure that people were clear about my expectations about those. First of all, um, uh, you started to look at some root causes of performance problems in U01D2 when you did your uh, posting about the behavioral engineering model. Now you can use that information from U01D2 as uh, the basis for your uh, assignment, uh, one of your parts of your assignment uh, in U02A1. Uh, in U02A1, you're supposed to describe a performance problem, the indications of the performance problem, and one of the parts of U02A1 is supposed to be a root cause analysis. Now, a couple of things about that. First of all, you should use the behavioral engineering model elements, the six cells, uh, information, uh, resources and tools, incentives, motivation, capacity, and so on. You should use that as the basis for your root cause analysis, and I see most of you are thinking along those lines, and that's great. But the other important thing about the root cause analysis that I'm going to be looking for is how rigorous an approach have you used in defining the root causes of performance. It is not going to be um, adequate to simply give your opinion about what the root causes are. Now your opinion is part of the picture and shouldn't be ignored. But um, if you go back to the needs analysis course or perhaps some of your other courses or your other work experience, you'll know that in order to identify a root cause, you really need to use a rigorous approach to root cause identification. And that usually means getting data on the root causes of poor performance from a couple of sources. One is you should talk to other people about what they think the root causes of performance problems are. The reason for this is that the root causes of poor performance are usually deep-seated in the organization. They're widely distributed and they're in little corners of the organization and no one person has a full view of what the true picture is about the root causes of poor performance. So one of the more powerful methods of getting root cause uh, analysis information is to either interview people or to have a focus group discussion with them and ask them what they think the root causes are. The other source of data for possible root cause analysis is organizational records. Now, Maybe you've observed some of this work. Maybe you have um, gathered um, performance data uh, from the rest of the organization, and that tells you what the root causes are. I'm not sure you know, what you might use, but um, uh, the organizational records can be a very valuable source of information about root causes. So I'm not going to be accepting simply your opinion about what the root causes are. Now, the other point that I want to make um, about the assignment is this. I see that some of you may be choosing an ISPI chapter uh, project, and that's okay as long as it is your last resort. You should try really hard to do a project that is based in your workplace, and you should do the ISPI chapter project only if all other avenues have been explored and shut off to you. Um, the ISPI chapter ideas are fine if you simply cannot find any other project idea. Now if you have a question about this or if you want some clarification about this, please get in contact with me as soon as possible and I will try to respond to you as quickly as possible to clarify what this means. And in fact, I mean if it's absolutely necessary, I may even extend um, your deadline uh, in order to give you a little bit more extra time to work on this, but 
it's really important. I think you're going to get a lot more information and a lot more learning from doing a project in your workplace. The ISPI chapter uh, ideas are okay, uh, but um, they're just starting out. They uh, aren't really a business organization. So there are some uh, areas where they're not fully in line with what we'd really like you to be working on. So uh, please keep that in mind. If you have any questions about anything that I've just said, feel free to, to post a question in the discussions and I'll be glad to answer it or if you'd like to you can send me a mail message. Bye now.